Welcome back to another rig review and today I'm going to take a look at Amy. That is the Amy rig, which you can find on Gabriel Salas, Gabriel Salas, I don't know the sorry, uh, website where you have these here, $15 for that rig. Full disclaimer, I got a code for that rig, so I did not pay, full disclosure. This is what I get when I open it up, so let's fix the textures. Now, if you have been on my channel, I posted this before, but I'm going to do this again. Why? Because I am a klutz. When you open the rig, you will have a folder that has an FAQ folder as well, which gives you this. And these are the instructions of how to load the textures properly, which I did not do. Hence me re-uploading a new review. So, and I'm going to the Amy folder, you got the textures, skin textures, and that is the one. But you have to look at this here and set it to UDIM. Bam! So hit generate preview and now with the textures on, you will see that everything is loaded correctly. Bam! Magic trick. As always, I don't know why, let's start at the bottom, mainly because there's a main control and I want to see what you have here. So you can move this around. You have all the visibility of IK, FK, aim visibility, all that good stuff is there. Also body, you have full. And you can switch here, you can see this full or partial for speed. Let's turn all of this back on here and go to the feet. You have your main foot controller. Weep, weep, weep. And if you do this, I always kind of check sometimes, there you go. Sometimes the foot will take the knee with it and you have an extra controller here to do this. You also have a lock, which I love on a rig, so you can lock this when you are kneeling. Whoa, let's go back and not break this. So that is very cool, always a big fan. And you also have follow on off. So this is what I'm talking about. And you can do this and now the knee is not following. Very cool. Let's go down here and on that foot controller, you have swivel. So that is your knee swivel here. If you don't want to use your locator, you have your toe, you have your roll. And with that, you have the roll angle. You have the stretchiness. So let's take this and you got stretchiness here and let's go back. There you go. You can have full stretchiness there. You also have anti-pop. That's real fixes on your walk cycles and length changes and at the end of volume. Now you also have these uh, separate controllers. If I select this one here, beep, 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 beep. you got your foot roll or your toe roll, not your foot roll. This is your, your heel roll. So that's cool to have on separate controllers and you can see it is of course on both sides. As we go up, you have your Benbows and let me see here, you can take this out. You have stiffness, all right, you can change that as well, which is cool. This goes all the way up because it's at knees, the thighs and all the way up to here to extend and move this shape around. Can you scale? You cannot scale. You have this here, so this would be for your IKFK leg. Let's, and you have visibility on off. But well, let's switch this over and now you have, let me turn on reference here. You have your leg FK, all that good stuff. And on those controllers, you can also scale. Can you scale just the foot? Yes, you can. This is a massive foot. <laughs> you have that as well. Going up here, you have the root. Now this is going to be all weird because it's an IK and an FK leg. So let's go back and do an FK leg. Then you also have move this around, select the root, and you have center between feet, which I personally never use. Interesting though, like some reason have this. I'm very curious. Comments, let me know in the comments. Do you use this and why? Moving over here, this is your your hip swinger. Can you translate? No, this is purely rotation in all axes. Interesting though, I personally am very used to something where your hip swinger is more like that. I mean, it's not gonna, I'm actually changing uh, the orientation of it, but to me, this is super weird. It's probably gonna break things, but I kind of like the hip like this, not on the side. I don't know why, it's probably like how I visualize. On the, I have the controller here and I wanna move the hips like that. I don't know. That is just me, but that is that on the side. As we go up here, we have, you have the roots, you have multiple controllers here to move that. This goes all the way up to here. Can you translate? Yes, you can. Can you scale? Whoa, that is not an appropriate scale. 
through here. Oh, you can scale like this too. So you get a bit of a squash and stretch. Speaking of the middle section here, you do have options for that and scale. You got global and global translate as well. And as always, use this responsibly. All right, then going up, we have shoulders. Let me see here. All right, you got shoulders and translate as well. You have a breast drag. As you move this up here, you can see that is the option there. And these guys are in FK mode. So you have that. As we go down, you got your Benbows all the way down. You can switch this to IK. And then you have your boop, 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 boop. you have your IK arm. And at the same time, you can rotate your wrist. You have a follow option here. So this must be when you move your root. Boop, boop, boop. See that? You can move this. Then you go back and say, well, I don't want this to follow. And now I'm moving my root and you can see it does not. So you got your sticky IK for real Z. So you got stretchiness. So if you take your arm, take this out. I do want to still stretch this. You have that option. You also have anti-pop length and volume. So all of these have that as well. Let's go back and extend this arm. Then you have this option here. This is for your fingers to spread. Ah, you have a cupping function and you have all the curling of the fingers for quick blocking. And of course, at the same time, you can select these separately and just go bleep, 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 like that. Can you scale? Yes, you can. Ouch, but you can. Going back here, you do have your pull vector with a follow and a lock, which is awesome. As always, I love that. This is, of course, on both sides. You have two arms, of course. Let's go up. What do we have here? We have a lower neck control, which you can also make global. So global, you move this, bam, you got kind of an IK neck. But if you go back, global, nope, it will be more like this. Then going up here, what do we have? Beep. We have this, which gives you the jaw function. Can I select just this separately? Yes. And that is the chin. Ooh. Chin function, scale. Ooh, you can scale. I'm always a fan of being able to scale everything. Because you can tweak things, I like it. I like it when you have that, all those options to tweak things. Now let's go back here. I'm gonna open that mouth a little bit to give you the view of this. So you have your corners and then you have your very detailed shapes here to change that. You do have an overall mouth controller which you can also rotate and scale for whatever reason. But then you can go here and you can select that to move this here and also do your lip roll like that. This is top and bottom. You have, as we peek inside here, you have your tongue function that you can, whoa, you can translate this out here in a crazy way. Probably scale, yes you can. Bring it back, let me take a peek here. Do you have any controllers for the teeth? Yes you do, sometimes you gotta peek in there. And now I can move the teeth, scale, all that good stuff, it's very cool. Moving over here, you got cheeks. Can you scale? <laughs> yes, you can. Scale everywhere. You also have overall nose control, which is neat. Of course, rotations as well. And as you can guess, scale. But you also have nostrils, always good for sneer. Ooh, interesting. Interesting if you could actually move more of a flare, a nostril flare. Let me just double check before I say anything. You have your wavy eyebrows if you don't want face manip direct face manip you got your eyes which i will probably make her less cross-eyed come on then you got you got cheek and cheek up for any type of squintiness or laughing ah let me see okay so you got a nose flare here there you go because if i click on this here there is no option in the controller uh in the uh, channel box here to do a flare. So just an FYI, you have flare options there. That is your jaw, including rawr, shapes. And then here we have corners. Again, maybe for some quick blocking. However you prefer, I like that you have all kinds of options there. One more thing to add here. So when you have your controls in this and you look at the child controls, you can see there's extra stuff. So here you have a squeeze for the brows. You have outer up and down. So make sure that you do check that, especially for the eyes here. You have a lot of blinking options when I do this. You have the blink center that changes. You have upper lid and lower lid changes and all that good stuff, especially if you want to do iris and pupil changes. 
and going down here to this, you also have the roll, even though you can do it as manually as you rotate, but you still have that in here with the nicer deformation, actually. You also have sticky lips. So if you open up the, the jaw, you can see here that nothing, and this is your sticky lip option. And then you have the zip lips, R and L as well. And that is again in here. Going back, you, got, you have this, of course. And then you got your blinkiness, top and bottom. Can you scale? Oh, you can scale that. You got your extra shape controllers here and including those corners to change all of that if you want. Shaking this side here, this is the outside of the brow. You got the middle and then you got the inside here for up and down. Going over to this big controller here, that is for the massive eye region control here. Why not? I like it. Then you have ears. Wait, I got to try it. Yes, you can. <laughs> then you have ears, including ear flap. Why not? Going back, you have individual hair controls. You can rotate, you can translate and scale. You also have, is this, ooh, this is not the hair. This is, ah, change in the head scale as well. So you got top and bottom half to move around. Speaking of which here, let me just double check. You have your lower neck, right? As we said, and this must be the upper neck. There you go. Then we go up here and we have squash and stretch on this. And then you got the middle aspect here to do this and the bottom to change that again. Lots of options, this is cool. And you can see the front view, we got more hair controls. And then, of course, don't forget, you have your main eye box here, which is not there because it's not on aim. There you go, and now you can aim and go back. And then you have a follow option. So if I do my head turn, it stays there. So now I don't want this, which I personally prefer. And then you can do all those things here and your eyes are staying put. And this is not just in terms of, this is what the controller looks like. No, these guys are actually separate controllers. So you can change all of that, which again, goes back into that if you want. But that is the overview of the Amy rig. You can find this on Gumroad and you can find this on my animation buffet site alongside other rigs by Gabriel and other rigs that I upload and review. If you like this and you don't want to miss any of my rig reviews, of course you can subscribe. Just hit the notification button for all so you don't miss anything. And that is that for this review. Thank you very much.